Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Kitty Powers is Matchmaker, and it might be the last one because, you know what? I've been pretty good on the last few, last few runs. The career is doing great. We are at the tippy top of where we can get, uh, more or less. Uh, we've been running fabulous for several, several episodes now, and I'm thinking I might. Uh, I might retire on top. I think that's what we're going to be doing. But for now, I'm going to uh, see if we can set up that last couple that we uh, were working on last episode. And we'll check on the ones we currently uh, have finished, which is uh, Ferris P-Word. <laughs> oh no! Elsie and I have decided it would be mutually beneficial to split up. There are a few things I liked about Elsie, mainly her attraction to going to the aquarium. But her outlandish attraction to pole vaulting was more than I could cope with. I understand that. That's a little bit, uh, excessive. I probably told a small number of lies, but I do not think it made any difference. I'm quite upset about it, but I will recover in time. Sincerely, Ferris. Aww. We tried. Eh. It's fine. It's fine. We're still fabulous. We're still fabulous, and hopefully this next one will work out. So. Ooh, that's loud. I don't remember it being that loud. That's fine. Okay. Gotta gotta move on. Gotta keep on trucking. <laughs> keep on trucking. <laughs> Fanny. <laughs> Fanny Beanworth. <laughs> Alrighty. They're definitely a geeky type. Absolutely. And we had set you up with Birdie Dingle Bent. <laughs> Just a Ben Dingle, you know. It's a uh, set you up with him last time, and it worked out fairly well. Let's see if we can uh, continue on with the uh, with the good luck train on that one. Let's see. We've already discussed occupation, uh, methodology. I'm assuming no, that's organization. That's right, organization and uh, clothing. So try to avoid those topics. I think I know the one I want. Oh, I lost it. Okay. Sausage Factory. How delightful. That was not the one I wanted. <laughs> Damn it. Damn it. I wanted to make it easy for my last one. Okay. But, you know. It's fine. It's fine. It's all fine. He likes everything you're working with, so that's fine. We'll just go with that. And we'll continue on. My coffee's sitting over here being too warm for me to drink and it's annoying. Ah, well, rather too hot, technically. Ah, oh god, I should talk like that. Ah, a fine looking eating establishment this is. Okay, and it's raining. Ah, Birdie, we meet again. Yes, and you, Fanny, you look well. This is another, <laughs> this is another pleasant place to come to. I have no argument to offer that point, on that point. <coughs> My mouth is still broken from the last episode I recorded today. Good evening. Would you like to order now? <laughs> Affirmative. Mm. What is your preferred sustenance? Mm. I'd like something cold with white uh, meat. And I'm uh, on diet, so no fried food. Okay, white meat. Uh, nothing fried. Gansbraten mm. was roast goose. That's technically white meat? Um, The Hendel... I'm assuming is fried. But I want to double check. Spicy grilled chicken. Maybe the Gansebraten is... I don't know. It's, that's served cold. He wanted cold. He wanted cold, right? Yeah, I don't even remember now. It was something weird. White meat and... I think it said cold. I think it was cold. Ooh. I, I think... I think... I think that might be it. I'm hoping. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, awesome. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> You're a cool. gastronomical marvel. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I am. Ah. Alright, let's see. What do we get? Horoscopes. Facial uh -huh. decor and organization. We already talked about organization. We already know that 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 works out beautifully. 
So uh, let's try horoscope and hope that they don't like it. What is your opinion of horoscopes? I find them fascinating. Shit. Um, you're gonna have to lie, girl. You're gonna have to lie just to make this work. Oh, oh, and we get 25 coins on top of it. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Woo! Lucky. Awesome. I pleased. We agree. I'm Libra. What are you? Libra wasn't a good one, and I don't remember. I think cancer works. I think cancer works. My birth sign is cancer. Is that good? Oh, we're not exactly made for each other. Shit. Maybe it was... Ah, maybe it was the other one. Maybe it was the second one. Okay. Okay. Let's just guarantee that this will succeed. Uh, dinner is served. Well, here's hoping it worked well. Oh, boy. Oh, good. One we haven't talked about. Let's go tradition. When it comes to washing up, would you rather do it in the sink or stick it in the dishwasher? Stick it in the dishwasher. Fuck it. Perfect. We're doing well. We're doing great. We are apparently very similar. Whoop. I caught it. I caught it. I hit the X button right as it changed. Uh-oh. Oh, hi there, Fanny. How are you? Ugh, it is my ex-partner. I wonder who this could be. I'm rational and logical as per usual. How are you? I'm great, thanks. Well, nice to see you. I've got to go. Bye. I am in agreement with that sentiment. Goodbye. So, who was that? Well, we've already lied once. We've already lied once. We can't keep lying our asses off. Uh, it's, uh, let's just tell the truth. It's the ex. It's my ex we have not met for a long time. It's nice that you're still friendly. Oh, thank you. Yes, we are both reasonable human beings. Thank you. Whew. That was a bullet dodged. We've already talked about that. We haven't talked about that. We talked about that. So I guess we're going hairstyle. Is my hairstyle attractive to you? Yes, it looks quite nice, actually. Gratitude for your kind words. What do you think of my hair, then? I like it. It's quite attractive. That's nice of you to say so. Here's your bill. I hope you had a wonderful time. What amount should we tip the restaurant employee? Please don't be. Please do not be cheap. Let's give him 8%. It's not much better, but it's better than five. Oh my gods, I hate. Oh, I hate. I hate. Why is it the first... Why is the the first few dates when it came to this were reasonable, but then these fuckers show up with their cheapness? Oh my gods, I hate all of you. I hate all of you. Not... Just for the reason that I have to pick up the calculator to, because 8% is a goofy percentage. But also, you all are cheap fucks. Cheap, cheap assholes. And I hate simply for that reason. Okay, so. Oops, helps if I hit the right button. Uh. Oh, I forgot I have a percentage on my phone. Okay, cool. That's it. Well done, aren't you clever? Yeah, my phone is very clever. You have no idea. Also, you are cheap bastard, and I do not like you. Impressive. They can make basic calculations. Hey. Hey. That's not basic. That is not basic. How dare you? How dare you come for my wig? Kitty, how dare you? All right. Is that the time? Yes, we should depart now. Okay, well, I think... I think this is as good as it's gonna get. I find them relatively attractive. Let's do it. Let's do it. So, would you like to be my significant other? Yes, I think I'm in love with you. That's complete. True love has been achieved. Uh, I figured it would be good to do this on Valentine's Day, especially when I'm sitting at home alone. <laughs> okay. 
All right, my romantic ambitions are fulfilled. We're made for each other. And 125. Damn. Promotion points. Love analyst. All right. Or in, in some circles, we like to make that a joke. Love analyst. Bending over backwards. <laughs> That's a tagline. All right. <laughs> Sure, why not? All right. <sighs> I can never decide how much to tip the waiter. Tip You're them a real decently. matchmaking star. Thank Let's you. Let's see what other delights we can attach to the agency. Sounds good. <laughs> this pool? agency needs customers. Where should we advertise? A pool with the fucking... <laughs> sure, let's go hippie. Why not? Go I for the attend hippies. a local environmental action group <laughs> meeting. There are bound to be some hippies that need love. Sure, yeah, well, usually they're, they're just fine finding it by themselves. But hey, sometimes you just need a little extra help. All right, let's check out the shop, shall we? Oh, more pages of the black book, maybe. Oh, yeah, we do. We do get more pages of the black book. That might actually help me out. All right, just use all of that stuff I earned from the last day. Why not? Uh, salon. I have enough for one more thing. Um, some of this might be difficult to justify, because at least with the color, you can figure it out real quick. Uh, stylus, does that allow colored contacts? I don't know. That might help a little. I don't know. Er. Garg, I don't know. Good, we're good, we're good. I guess we'll do one more. We'll do one more. Claim it's the top of our career. And sounds good to me. In the meantime, I'm going to see if my coffee's now cool enough for me to drink. Answer is no. Mm. Answer is no. First drop on my tongue was immediately out. All right. <laughs> Who are you? You're Sandra. Mm. I kind of want to... There we go. That's what I wanted to end it with. I wanted to end it with one of our gays. I'm Ralph. I'm a ufoologist. Ufoologist? <laughs> and I'm looking for a man. Okay, sure. Let's try and help you, bud. All right. I'm Ralph. I'm a ufologist. Whatever. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> Fucking. <laughs> Fucking Roblox over here. Okay, I'm assuming that's UFOologist. I'm assuming. Also, is that even a fucking profession? Uh, and I'm looking for a man. I'm interested in pancake makeup, scantily clad heroes, and retro pinups. Well, good for you, bud. There's a lot of scantily clad male heroes. Oh, boy. <laughs> Sounds good. And, and I love hazel eyes and black hair. You and me both. I'm carefree, experimental, and spicy. Okay. Can you find me perfect match? That's a classic edgy type right there. Uh, pre pretty edgy. You're not wrong. All right. Ooh, and <laughs> the first one is a silver serpent. Okay. Well, let's check on some of these. None of, none of these, none of these work. None of these work at all. Okay, let's look at the next one. Trapeze. Oh, yeah, Keaton Nickerkins. I think I remember you. I think I remember you. Uh, trapeze artist. Uh, nothing here works. Oh, yeah, we found out you do like being the spicy. That's right. I think I remember that finding that out with one of the dates uh, with that one guy. That he ended up finding his match after this. So, okay. Uh, let's check Kenzie Goodaway. He likes UFOs, that might go well with that, but nothing else really working out here. Oh, you like his green eyes. Okay, good, good. Um, but there's nothing on you he likes. 
Dwarven Kingdoms, Goth Music, and Remote Controlled Cars. And the fucking... That doesn't work well either. Arrgh. Marco Hatlow. Body Piercing Technician. You like his green eyes, but that's... Okay, okay. Personalities match. That's good, at least. I remember that much. Um, Rupert Bellinger. The uh, astrological signs match. You like his hazel eyes? All right, I think we're going. I think we're going. Playing the didgeridoo. <laughs> Handmade knickknacks and listening to the radio. All right. All right. We might have something going here. Oh, and you're a costume designer. That's three stars. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Um, we'll change your hair to the dirty blonde, I think. That's what that color is. Don't quote me. But yeah, we'll do that. Um, I kind of want to find out if he's an edgy type. But at the same time, I have a feeling that won't help me out to that much. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go for one of the hard ones. There we go. I watched it. I watched it with intent. The sausage factory. My tummy yep. rumbling just thinking about it. Uh, I hope so. Light brown. It was light brown. I remember that oh. color was exactly hmm. the one he wanted. Yes, it was. I had to double check because I wasn't actually that sure. <laughs> okay. Let's go. All right. And I'm just going to move my chair around a little bit. It's going to squeak. That's fine. I'm trying to also crack my back because it's been... Killing me, slowly, like usual. Ooh. I got butterflies in me stomach. Oh, God. <laughs> Gonna be one of those accents. I got butterflies in me stomach. Okay. Uh, well, here's hoping we got this working for you, bud. Ooh. Rainy weather. Gotta remember that. Oh, hello. Are you Rupert? <laughs> yeah, you must be Ralph, right? <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> You're, like, totally on time. Wouldn't want you hanging around now, would I? <laughs> Wow, this restaurant is killing it. Yeah, it ain't bad for a bit of nosh. Your eyes are a nice hazel color, isn't it? Excellent, thanks. They're both mine, too. Ooh, your light brown hair is so curved. Cheers, glad you like it. Perhaps you could knit a shirt out of it. <laughs> sure, why not? Good evening, may I take your order? Yeah, nice one. What do you fancy, then? Something hot with no meat. Hot with no meat. No meat, hot. No meat. Vegetarian. <laughs> and no fried food. I'll eat it if they won't. <laughs> Fair enough. Sounds good. So hot, no meat, uh, vegetarian, and no fried. So uh, I'm assuming this is out? Because that looks like fried food in there. Hunter Salat. Uh, Kool Rilad? Kool Rilad? I don't fucking know. <laughs> Cabbage rolls. Vegetarian. Fair enough. Um, cabbage rolls. Would that be served hot? But spargle. Oh. Asparagus and whole... I... You're not telling me if it's hot or not, lady. <clears throat> hot, no meat. I'm going to assume... I'm going to assume... Cabbage rolls are served hot, but at the same time, Spargle oh. has a sauce on there. I don't know. Mm. The fuck is schnitzel? I've never known. Okay, schnitzel is that. Definitely won't work here. Uh, ha, 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 ha. Not telling me oh. if they're hot. Hollandaise. Oh. Cabbage rolls. Fuck it, I'm assuming cabbage rolls. <laughs> mm. okay. Sounds amazing. Yeah, I'm starving and all. Okay. Tradition, weather. Let's go with tradition. Something substantial. When watching TV, do you watch shows as they are broadcast or watch on demand on your tablet? Yeah. Oh, that worked out beautifully. 
Uh, All right, look out, future! Here we come. Uh, I should come, uh, uh, At least you got something what? in common. What? The fuck is I should Coco? Yeah, they got something in common at least. Yeah, uh, you're right. Uh, Other than their hair color being the exact fucking same. Uh, it's the love handle time. Interests. Weather, tradition, since we already talked about that, and weather's not substantial, let's go with interests. Or that, because I don't remember what his interests are. Ooh. I just realized. When it comes to pets, Ooh. do you never let them on the sofa? Mm. Or just let them sleep in bed with you? Mm. Ah. <laughs> oh my gods, mm. everything is working beautifully. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking, this is gonna be great. I'm literally gagging to hear a good story. If you got one, <laughs> yeah, how about this? I like then? a good story. Yeah. I like how that's in quotes. Um, hmm. Nope. Hmm. Nope. Uh oh. Uh oh, I'm in trouble. Oh wait, wait. When I was a kid, I found this mysterious cave. Yes. <laughs> and I discovered some prehistoric cave paintings. <laughs> Wicked, that's a great story. Yeah, the good old days, isn't it? Sure, whatever you say. Whoop. I hit it right when it Nothing changed. Nothing past you, does it? Every time. Every time. Argh. Okay, so clothing. Let's talk about that. What do you think of me outfit, then? Not a total right off. Oh, uh, that's, is that supposed to be a compliment or what? Uh, 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 so are you digging my uh, outfit? Uh, it's all right, I suppose. Uh, okay, moving on. Uh, 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 Would you call me a taxi? My mobile's totally died. Um, yeah, hang on. Waiter, have you got me a taxi number? <coughs> yes, I do. Are you ready? Oh oh four one one three oh. Yep. This is where work actually comes in handy, because I have to do this a lot. That's it. I hope you enjoyed your meal. Awesome. Thanks. Hey, no problems. All the time you spent playing with your phone paid off. And at my job. Don't forget that, kitty. I think it's time to shoot. I suppose it's time to go then, isn't it? Cool. I think they're really odd stuff. Well, I mean, in that, in that case, let's go. Mm. You want to get more serious? Uh, uh, um, let me put it this way. Hashtag, yeah. <laughs> this is the best thing that's ever happened to me. That's adorable. I've never been so happy. I'm like totally living. Beautiful. Points? Almost. I'm up all the way to fabulous. Okay. Uh, just noticed I'm getting a phone call. Give me just a moment, folks. I got called by a spam caller in the middle of my fucking recording. Are you kidding me? Fuck you! Just threw my phone across the room. Fucking. God damn it. Spam caller on my videos. Fuck you! All right. Uh, this is what I get for being an important person and actually possibly getting phone calls every once in a while. Ugh. Anyway. <laughs> All right. I think we can officially call that the end of an episode. A little lackluster considering that was stupid, that phone call I got. But we got two people set up this episode on Valentine's Day. Gotta love that. And, uh... Yeah, I think at this point we can say that's the highlight of our careers. And uh, we can end the episode this time. Simply because, well, there's nothing else really to do. Uh, I've pretty much mastered most of this game. And at this point, it's just playing for fun. And I can do that on my own time. <laughs> so, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments if we bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together, and I will see y'all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat playing games and setting up more couples together on Valentine's Day, no less. And uh, at this point, we're retiring. And uh, we're retiring.
retiring at a pretty good spot, I think. One of the best, honestly. We, we gotta have... We gotta say that this has been a roaring success. So, I'll see y'all in the next series. Have a great one, kids.